guess I'm starting over And now my battered soul is going back through the motions I just have a hole who once had no control Friday Night Baseball from the Twin Cities Target Field in downtown Minneapolis Tonight, it's a compelling matchup of two division leaders between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Minnesota Twins. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Michael Pineda is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and if he does all those things, expect a real solid performance in this one. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused in playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Diaz. John John Still Johnston is now here as he looks at a call streaming MLB one. the show 2 1 Rays versus Twins 8 1 3 2 1 63 degrees swing and a shot toward right center he lays out for it but he can't pull it in and he'll pull into second with one away Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know about that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. At the plate now, Brandon Wow as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s with 36 home runs and 72 RBIs. He said here's the 01. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Off the plate at 94 one and two. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one. He's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Austin Meadows is in the two away now as he looks at a called strike one. He'll enter play here at an even 250. And even 20 home runs and 38 runs batted in. Comes set the 0-1. One and ball. Change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Diaz stands at second with two gone. One. And it'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Going back is the right fielder. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Number 21 for him on the season. As the Rays move in front now, two to nothing. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Here's Randy Arozarena. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. The average sits at 286 here to start playing. 
twenty six home runs and he's driven in forty five. The wind up and the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. Man when you're struggling at the plate that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you trying to end it quick. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two. Swing and a miss and that's out number three. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two run home run. Home half of the first coming up at Target Field and it's two nothing Tampa Bay. Tyler Glasnow will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics, look at this whip. 1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams scoring a lot of runs. He doesn't walk very many guys, and he doesn't give up that many hits either. This is a real good pitcher and should be fun to watch pitch in this one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. Well, that's out number one. That is second. The second base. Louis. One out, base is empty, and next to hit will be Louisa Rides. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, this is why we do what we do. Two first place teams going to go at it today. Don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff baseball? Come early a little bit. Interested to see how the managers go about it. We've got some stars out on the field today. Glasnow has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Throw gets him, two down. Now to the plate, Josh Donaldson. He enters this one second in the American League in round triplets. This guy's still got it, Matty D. Still has that power thump in his bat. He's been around for a long time, but hasn't yet showed any signs of slowing down. The 1 0 delivery. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, ball, Matt. But he might down. spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. And we'll wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Again, a 1 2. Ball 2. two. Yeah. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. The twins are set down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. So now here is G Man Choi. He currently sits eighth in the American League in home runs entering play. This guy's right in the prime of his career right now. The power bat speaks for itself. One of the more dangerous hitters in the game of baseball. Strike one to start the at bat. A swinging oh, strike, and now it's 0 2. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, Dero, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. Batting seven, the third baseman, Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell digs in now. They off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Oh, he Throw won't get him. Wow, 
now as we watch this, I have to just shake my head. Looks like a good throw, but the first baseman just drops it. I guess that big glove isn't big enough, huh? That brings up Wander Franco. As he'll take a look at ball one. Franco is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1 0, 2 0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Simmons He's out. on to first as He's they out. get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Tampa Bay leads this one two. Here's Miguel Sano. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. He's one for two. Now here it comes. Nope, at the ball. Count one and oh. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back on it is the left fielder. And a climbing attempt at the wall, but this ball is gone. A solo shot that time for Miguel Sano. Number 25 for him on the year. And the Twins cut the lead in half here. It's now a 2-1 ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering glass to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to deal with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. A weak grounder down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting six, the center fielder. Now it'll be Jake Keir. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First pitch on its ball. way. Good change up ball there to one, start him, nine. but it drops a little low for ball one. Ball two. And 2-0 two and oh as this one's taken low. Too high. Oh, and there. it's 3-0. and oh. Now here it comes. Hey. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. One out, nobody on. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five-pitch walk. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. So the next to bat will be Jorge Polanco. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve hey. upon in this one. In there, strike one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Fastball, three. strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So next to hit is Chet Pinder. Yeah. In case you haven't been keeping up the tabs on him, arguably he's been one of the hottest hitters in the league over the last seven or so games. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. That's not a bad way to keep it going. They sit right there in the street, 15 games and counting. Yeah, we're halfway through a calendar month, and he looks up and he's had a knock. You can't get caught up in it. You have to trust the process. Keep doing what got you to this point. Stand focused, not trying to do too much. Staying within your plan and studying the opposing pitcher. Mitch Garver is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Oh. Cave. At second, Kinder at first, two out in the inning. You could clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call, and his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. 
A Rosarena gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. We played two, and this is now a two to one ball game. Here now is Mike Zanino. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. And the third inning begins with a changeup that misses, hits a ball and no strikes. Head to head against Michael Pineda. He's hitless in six tries. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Left fielder looking up. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo homer here for Mike Zanino. Number 13 for him on the year, and it's given the Rays a 3 to 1 lead. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Hit well again. Down the right field line. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, when you serve up pitches like that, Natty, you know these hitters are going to put some good swings on. And that's what happens here as he blasts this thing. The last two hitters have really set the stage. Man, I thought for sure we were going to see back-to-back -back jacks right there. Yeah, so now we'll see if the next guy can keep this train rolling. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. No balls and a strike to count. A runner at second, nobody out. Nope, up and there. look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. If you're on the mound right here, you've got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. The 1-1 home. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Kiermaier rounds third and is digging for the plate. Safe at the plate as they extend their lead to three. Yeah, and when a pitching coach goes to the mound this early, he's probably just looking to reset the pitcher's mindset, get him to forget about the negative, and give him something positive to focus on. We'll see if he responds. Stepping in now, Brandon Lau, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Well, this is starting to feel like a make-or-break moment in this game. When you're playing a first-place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. The 0-1 on its way. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number 37 on the year, and it's now a six to one ball game. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Austin Meadows. Right He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. This lineup has a chance to knock this guy right out of the game. Four runs in the inning, and they smell blood. Boy, Dero, you hit the nail right on the head right now. This is a team that can score ball some two. runs. They have a pitcher that's reeling right now. They need to knock him out and knock him out ASAP. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Mm -hmm. 
Now the 2 1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now the play here is Randy Rosarena looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here's the pitch. At the ball. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Looking up is the left fielder, and it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left, and that is 27 for him on the year as it's now a six-run ball game. That ball was absolutely blasted. 113 miles an hour off the bat, according to show track. As you see the distance there, that's one that'll get people talking. Jay Happ is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. And Choi, the next to hit. The first base. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Flew out in his only at bat so far. And it's fouled away. Ready with the 0 2. The count is one and two. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes oh. the throw to first. Choi is retired. Two down now. Base is empty. Two away. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Now here it comes. Wind up and the 0 1. Ground ball right side. He's got it. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the race. We're just about set to go here as the Twins come to bat in the third inning, and this is an offense that's really been productive this year. Within the league, they ranked among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course, plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. In now is Andrelton Simmons. Zero down six already in the early part of this ball game. What's the mentality for them as they try to work their way back? You know what, Matty? This is where you take some prideful ABs. I've been down six before, and I've come back from even further down than that in some big ball games. You have to find a way to just relax and start piecing some good ABs back to back. First pitch coming. Here it is. Luis Arias. We'll stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Weak roller right side. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Up next for Minnesota, Josh Donaldson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the AB on its way. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation, I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Behind 0-2 now. 
And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Down go the Twins in order. They're down 7-1. to one. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters. From their approach, to their swings, to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that, six extra base hits to this point in the game. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the inning. And in to swing the bat next is Wander Franco. Now here's the first offering. 1-0. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Fouled away. The 1-1. One -one. The slider inside, just about two. gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. You're a pitcher right there. You can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. So here's Mike Zanino. And so you'll take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. In past meetings with Jay Happ, he's gone three for 11. Hey. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to yep, ground into a double out. play. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. As a look, now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Franco gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hard right, sinker two misses and two. two and two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and whip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's one for two in this one. Oh and one, here it comes. Comes back with a good oh, change up there, and it's quickly 0 oh and two. Hey, I get where he's going right there. Sinker and then pull the string back a little bit with that nasty change up. But if those fall in the same quadrant, look for someone to get on top of one and crush it. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Kevin Kiermeyer is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Stepping in next, Yandy Diaz. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. From the belt, the pitch. Ball, that's out. The 1 0. There's a base hit on the line. First game of a new series, and he's already sitting on three knocks right now. The pitching staff might have to make an adjustment going forward.
standing in now. Brandon Lau. Nope. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Ball one no in strike. past meetings with Jay Happ, he's 0 for 5. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Rays strand a pair. They're on top seven to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Miguel Sano. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no, no doubt about no, no. this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. Big swing by Sano and a ball sent to deep left field. Left fielder looking up. Gone all the way into the upper deck. Solo shot here to left, his second in the game, and it's a 7-2 game now. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Yeah, Matty D, this is a, one of those six-pack kind of games, Dero. Six bombs already in this one. Yeah, just missed execution. Bad pitch. There's, There's going to be a lot of guys Quite running some extra poles after this. Max Kepler is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Two runs, three hits, and one nope. error That's make up the totals for the Twins to this point. Yeah. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. On the first, oh, so down. a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball yeah, for the first out. So now into the box is hey. Jake Keane. Worked a walk his first time up. Strike taken, good bender oh, on the one. outside there. And oh, one and one as this one's in on the hands. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So two gone now for the Twins in their half of the fourth. That would bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Grounded to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But not before the Twins get one, and it comes on this solo home run. We play four. It's the Rays seven and the Twins two. Digging in will be Austin Meadows. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. In there and it's 0 1. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Swing and a liner. Cave is right there, one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Stepping up is Randy Rosarena. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Bouncer to the left side. On to first, and Haps rolling now, two away. Now, Pat. 
So stepping in is G-Man Choi. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Here it comes. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Over to first, and that retires the side. Rays go in order, one, two, three. They're on top seven to two. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time, they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. All right, Heidi, thank you. And now in the box, Chet Hinder. Yeah. He singled first time up. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try to drive something in the gap. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new oh, school, I think I kind of stand right along that fence. The one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and try to base hits the other way. The plate now, Mitch Garver. Line drive, base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, I like this right here. Offense putting a little bit of pressure right here on the defense. This game is not over yet. And if somebody can catch a gap or maybe hit one out, we got a chance to get back in this ball game. We might have something. Andrelton Simmons is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Scooped up. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's now best friend right there. The, the inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing oh, changes oh, yeah. that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. That'll bring up Luis Arise. Hey. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Swing and a miss as he pulls the yeah. top hand okay. over. It's 0-2. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position Whoa, to get out of this one after giving up back-to-back -back singles to the first two batters. Here comes the one-two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. He stays alive, still two and two. A shot down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. From the stretch. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats, he starts to get into swing mode. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. That makes it a 7-3 ball game. Most guys assume they're getting a 3-2 fastball in that count right there, guys. But he was able to keep his hands back, keep his nose in there, and battle for a knock. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. No hits to this point. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying That's to get ahead three. and put himself at a good hitter's count. Three, ball. three and 0 to him now. Eight. Three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. 
I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First delivery to him. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Not a bad oh, pitch there out. with two strikes but it misses 1 and 2. And nope. a slider runs outside. away from him there and the count levels at 2 and 2. Here it comes. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Great spot on that 2-2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Hey. Wonder Franco is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. He's working on a one for two game so far. This pitch is popped up. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. And stepping in, Mike Sanino. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Boy just when you're looking for one of those okay. shutdown okay. innings you get two quick outs D roll then you give up a yeah, two man. out base hit to extend the inning. Yeah you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an A.B. no chance everybody's in there grinding every at bat every plate appearance. Nice job maybe a little two out lightning start. Kevin Aye. Kiermaier is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the belt kicks and deals now a swinging bunt. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. Boy he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. A ball and two strikes here it is. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Ray Strand just the one. They hang on to a 7 to 3 lead. Miguel Sano stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. Tip, but that's held on to behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Max Kepler is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And it's one and one. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. One out, nobody on. He takes hey. strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. Line drive, fair ball down the line. 
Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Jorge Polanco stands in as he looks at a called strike. One, one and ball, one. Break. On the run, this one in on him, one and he can't strike, connect, yeah. so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that. Pitch. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. One left for Minnesota. Deficit holds it four. It's seven to three. Randy Dobnik is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 68, Randy Dobnik. New inning set to get underway. Here's the first pitch. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And a sinker dips yeah, too low there. Play. Into the dirt, in fact. And that one yanked just foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. To bury one count. down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. On he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at bat. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In that, Brandon Lau. Left center, base hit. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer the job. The right fielder, Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows will stand in here, but before he does, let's take it back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate. It really got these guys off to a fast start. From the stretch. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. Gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Rays are out in front, 7-3. to three. Jordan Hicks gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 89, Jordan Hicks. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in the outfielder, Chet Hinder. The left fielder, Chet Hinder. From the stretch. He had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 1. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. He's got it, and that's the first down. In the box, Mitch Garver, a fly out and a single for him so far. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and 
And now a fastball for a called strike. It's one, one and one. one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Bases are empty, one man out. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Strike two. Garver leads off second with one gun in the inning. And it's fouled away. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Meadows is there and he has it for the out. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Next here is Luis Arias. Runner in scoring position with two guns. And a ball, 1-0. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. To third. Reined in. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Rays lead it 7-3. Riding in is Randy O'Tired field the ground ball last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ball, that's inside. Now the 1-0. Ah. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Cave. In retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. Now that the first up next for the Rays, G-Man Choi. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Owen won the count. Now the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. All even now, two and two. Driven to right field and deep. And that is off the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Every hitting coach in the league will tell you it only takes one swing of the bat to get out of a slump, and maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it, but he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. So now to the plate, Joey Wendell. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. You love the aggressive base running right there. It's not easy to make that throw and give that catcher time to adjust his feet and get that tag. Oh, no, very aggressive send right there. You Stepping in now, Wander Franco batting left-handed here as he takes oh, a look one. at strike one. 
He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll oh, make it into third base as on the F7, he gets in there with two away. That was a nice job to track that one down in the alley because it definitely saved the run from scoring. Instead, he's only able to move up to third. So here is Mike Sonino. He homered back in the third inning in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 1-0. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. I uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's right. one and one now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking for him. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throwing the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. A couple of hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rays' eight. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here's Donaldson. Third baseman. First pitch on its way. Donaldson. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Skied down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. Comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. And a good slider here to start the at bat, but it's ruled a ball. One and all. And a strike to even the count. One and one. In there, one and two now. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next, it'll be Max Kepler. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. The bouncer to the left side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rays eight and the Twins three. Tyler Duffy enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Duffy. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Kiermeyer. Here's the first pitch to him. No. Duffy, a right-hander standing six foot three. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, when you come out in the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Into the windup and the pitch. Fouled away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he popped him up. In comes Kepler. And that's going to land foul. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Got him to go down swinging there. Kevin Kiermeyer becomes the first out in the ninth inning. Jake Shiner will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. Number 32, Jake Shiner. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. 
fastball just misses. That's ball one. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Shiner, a California born ball player, he was a fourth round selection back in 2017. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Brandon Lau. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. The numbers against Tyler Duffy, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Two out, nobody on. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And he two takes ball, ball two, and it's two and one. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Now a ball hit hard towards center, but this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. Down in order go the Rays, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. So now to the plate, Jake Cave singled in his last at bat. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Right side, but it's well foul. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. On the ground to the right side. Scooped up. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now it would be the Minnesota D8. Jorge Polanco. As he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Good pitch to hit. A sinker down the chute, but it's taken for a strike. Swing and a liner. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there? He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. Now, there's a lot of pressure on him because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this nope. is more than Forward. likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Chad Pinder comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. 2-0 oh. oh, to the Twins left fielder. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. 2 1 here it is. Two balls and two strikes now. Polanco the runner at first with one gun in the inning and a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout. He fell the behind 2-0 to eight. start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place Garver. to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh, one pitch on its way. Good pitch as this is swung oh, on and missed, right. and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker. Catch is made, and the Rays have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Wow. A nine-out save? That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. 8-3 tonight. The Rays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. 
Tyler Glasnow earns win number seven on the season. Michael Pineda was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Jordan Hicks takes the rare three-inning save, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays: eight runs on 13 hits.